Hello Aquarius, I hope you're doing well. This is gonna be a reading to find out how your person is feeling about you, what is going on in your connection. I hope that you are doing well, okay? This can be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, okay? Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay? So let's get into your person and how they're feeling about you. If you would like a personal reading from me, please check out the links in the description box. I have various different readings. If you would like mentorship or to check out any of the classes I offer, that is also down there. You can also feel free to check out my fixed candles on the website, okay? And I also am offering beauty products now if you would like to buy my mask or get my toner spray, that is available as well, okay? I think I said if you want to get the extended, if I don't think I did, but if you want the extended version of this reading where we go deeper into the connection, you can check out the link in the description box as well. And please make sure that you like, comment, and share my videos, okay? It really helps. So we have release, okay? So interesting. Release coming out, and then we have focus at the bottom of the deck. So there is butterflies on this, and I'm being drawn to this. So I feel like if there is a need to release something, it's so that your person can grow, Aquarius, okay? Um, I definitely get the energy like they need to let go of something so that there can be growth in this connection. Yeah, the butterflies coming out even in the focus card right here. It's butterflies. Yeah, boundaries. Okay, this beauty card is my um, two of cups. It's my counterpart card. So this is somebody, yeah, a magician. So some of you guys are dealing with a Virgo. I've seen a lot of Aquarius energy in Virgo's reading as usual. Um, or a Scorpio or something like that. But I feel like this is a relationship, whether it's counterpart, soulmate, whatever you want to call it. It is a relationship that is meant to teach one of you boundaries. Um, either teaching you to, how to have boundaries and stick with boundaries. Whoever is the more, I guess, empathic one. And then the other one, how to respect people's boundaries. The one who tends to be more extroverted and doesn't really think too much about other people's boundaries right okay so there that energy is showing up here so let's go ahead and see what we have coming in for you guys love wise for this person what's coming through love wise for this person for aquarius this coming through for aquarius here this coming through for aquarius we have oh, a couple cards i'm gonna take um Keep an open mind, past life relationship, and new love. I also see here getting to know each other and forgiving and learning. So some of you guys have two people in your energy. Okay, Aquarius, you have, um, like I said, I'm getting Scorpio possibly. And then there's a person that you might call your counterpart or your soulmate. But then there's also like a new relationship coming in. So Spirit is telling you that if you are dealing with a counterpart situation or a soulmate where this person is refusing to change, or maybe they're still going through their process of change, they are open to you dating other people. They are dating, they are open to, you know, you having other past life soulmates or other people that you are meant to experience in the meantime. So they are open to you dating. So they want you to know that, like, maybe you guys have been holding on to this connection really tightly, hoping that it manifests in the physical and not opening yourself up to other options, okay? So that is coming through as well. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius and this person. Any more energy for this, for Aquarius. What's coming through for Aquarius, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aquarius, all right. We have 10th house, the world. This is um, Capricorn energy. We have South Node, talk about past life, right? So um, maybe there's still some past life that needs to, past life stuff that needs to be worked out here. Um, this could even be talking about career. Like maybe you guys are supposed to expand your horizons career wise, okay? And you're too focused on what you've known or this person and you're missing out on your career karma because the 10th house is pretty much Saturn's house. It's, you know, talking about what we're meant to do, why we came here. Um, so it's like, you. it's not, I don't want to say it's your penance, but it is. It's your, it's your, um, cont your contribution to humanity is the 10th house. So maybe there is a need to focus more on your 10th house right now, Aquarius, than this relationship. That could be possible as well. You could meet a new love through your career, or you could be meeting a new love who is pushing you into a new direction as far as your career. And I am being drawn to the fact that this is a seven. So sevens talk about solo missions. I'm also hearing astrologers. So some of you guys could be getting into astrology. Okay. I do know that some of you guys are taking my astrology class on the 15th. So that could be applying to you as well. Aquarians make amazing astrologers. So we have uh, the 10 of wands here. Okay. 
So yeah, um, your person, you guys probably needed a break. I feel like you aren't in, you aren't in communication with this person. It could be a Sagittarius. I'm getting a Capricorn as well, Scorpio. Yep, look at it. King of Pentacles. I'm getting a strong Capricorn energy here. So um, your person is wanting a new start though. They feel like you guys have been in, possibly could be a water sign. Remember, uh, so some of you guys, maybe you're already connected with the water sign of Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and maybe you're meeting a new earth sign, um, Aries, uh, Aries. Maybe you're meeting an Aries. I was about to say Aries because the Ace of Wands, but maybe you're meeting a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or it could be vice versa. Um, but just the feeling, the person that we're directing um, this reading to right now, whoever this is, um, I definitely get this as someone that you have history with, with the Ten of Wands. I definitely feel like this is someone that you probably took a break from, or you guys took a break from the connection because it got really heavy um i feel like this person can't stop thinking about you okay whoever this is whether it's a new person or it's an old person this person cannot get you off of their mind do i have a crush on mine anytime do you ever feel mm -mm -mm? those that brian midnight right so I'm getting that, that song. Um, so this person could definitely be a Capricorn. Because y'all know how Capricorns are with their R&B, Aquarius. You know, y'all know Aquarians. Y'all know how y'all neighbor sign be getting down. Um, but yeah, this person wants a new start, whoever it is. Like if they haven't been talking to you in a while, they feel like you guys have been on the outs for too long. The Ten of Wands is meaning that your separation is weighing down on this person. And the Ace of Wands mean that they want, they want really a fresh new start. Um... It's not even so much that they just want a new start. Like, they don't want a new start of the same shit that you guys have been going through. I feel like this person wants a new, a brand new start where you guys kind of clear the past out and start over. Because it's like they want to hit the reset button with a Ten of Wands there with the Ace of Wands, okay? If this is a newer person, they are very into you, okay? I just want to point that out because some of you guys are meeting someone new right now. If this is a newer person, they are very into you, okay? They are very into you, Aquarius. They want to, like, to commit really quickly. The King of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, this is like wanting to commit, wanting to take care of you, wanting to, you know, maybe this person is a career person. Like I said, some of you guys are meeting someone who is a very big career person. Maybe they do stocks or Forex or some shit. Um, and they make a lot of money and they could be trying to put you on to this or this is someone who's mentoring you or trying to push you in the direction of stability. Um, so if you are meeting a newer person, they are into you very much. They think about you a lot, probably more than they would like to. Um, and this is someone to me who is very commitment, very open to commitment if this is a newer person because the Ace of Wands is here and I want to point that out. Now, if they are an older person, like I said, someone you have history with, they definitely want a new start where they're more secure in your life, where they show up in your life. Um, this person wants to be someone who has a better impact on your life. So they are definitely trying to clear whatever you guys had going in the past. Okay. So let's see what this 10 of wands is about. This is 10 of wands about the world twice. You can't make this up. You can't make this up. Um, so some of you guys, maybe you moved away from this person or there's actual physical distance between you two. And um, they don't like that. Like this, it's it's becoming a lot, especially if they're an Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, others of you, like you might be already increasing your uh, career. Like your career might be taking off right now in Aquar Aquarius. And this person is watching this and it's becoming too much because they feel like the more that you expand in your career, the farther away you get from them. This could even have been someone who was like doing better than you career wise. And then maybe now you're like, excelling over them and now they feel like you're you're getting away um for others of you this person has went through some sort of big transformation in their life where they've ended a marriage they've ended a relationship they've ended um they finally graduated they got out of the military there's some sort of cycle that has ended in this person's life that is allowing them to be more clear and open with their emotions and being able to commit to you okay so um i am seeing a couple different scenarios here and i wanted to point out all the scenarios that i am seeing because this is not going to just be one storyline for one person. Um, there's a multitude of storylines here that I'm pointing out and seeing. So um, I hope that this is resonating so far. I hope I haven't confused you guys too much. But the good thing is, is you can always go back and watch the reading again if it becomes you know, too, too hazy. So we are going to look and see if there is a third party, what's going on with the third party. Um, we're also going to look at this person's next actions towards you. 
in March. And then we're going to take from another deck and see um, what the rest of March holds, what's going to be the outcome for you and this person. So if you are interested in that, in that Aquarius, please check out the description box below. The link is down there. Again, if you need anything else from me, please check out the description box as well. You can comment. You can also share my videos and like, please. It really helps out. Okay. I'll see you in the extended Aquarius. Bye.